Hello and welcome my kiddos of all ages. I'm Serena the Dragon. Today we are going to learn how to create an adorable Kazulu bobblehead. I hope you're ready to learn with me. So I have my sketch right here. And I know you all probably have questions already. So first of all, um, they're not tattoos. I just doodle during work meetings. That's a secret between me and everyone who watches this video. So, you know, don't tell my boss. I already know your second question, and yes, I will be giving a tutorial on how to create your very own chipped nail polish look. Just kidding, I won't be making a video on that. But it's very easy. You just paint them poorly and then do lots of crafts until all your paint chips off. All right, with no further ado, let's get started. So to create our Cthulhu head, I have some tin foil here. I'm going to, I'm planning to use polymer clay to create this model, but um, I don't wanna have a huge chunk of Play, and in, a, in addition to that, um, I I want his head to be hollow and not too heavy. So yeah, let's just ball up some some uh, tin foil. Got what it's called for a second there. I just said its name. All right, let's keep going. More balls. All right, um, it's a pretty big head, but I have this really big spring I want to use. So there's going to be part of it up in the head and then part of it for the neck. So actually it's not too bad as it is. Let's just do a little bit more. All right, pulling it up and pulling it up. Pulling it up. Do, do, do. No? No to the singing? Never again? Okay. All right, I understand. All right, I think this will be the last bit. Do, 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 do. Oh shoot, I just said I wouldn't do that again. Sorry. Okay, uh, all right. I think we got a good sized head here. Yes, I like it. So let's continue. I'll get out some clay. Oops, let me knock everything over. Okay, got a whole bunch of clay. I'm gonna get started. Actually, not gonna be great. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna have to show you some more of my doodles from work. Sorry, work. I really do pay attention most of the time. Okay, just the the clay doesn't mush very well in the gloves. Okay, I feel like it. I guess I'm kind of Cthulhu themed today, aren't I? It's, a, it's a theme appropriate. Let's get this nice and thin. That's about right. This is actually my second time making a Kazoo bobblehead. The first time I failed. The spring didn't hold up its giant head. And uh, actually, I didn't find a good spring. I coiled some wire, so that was that was a disaster. Um, yeah, so purchasing a spring was a good idea this time, I think. Let's see how it turns out. Um, oh yeah, so one more thing. I can't guarantee I'll succeed at any of these projects that I'm doing, but I hope at the very least it will be entertaining. All right, so we got kind of a head shape. Let's see, that's pretty good. I think I'll get the bottom of the head right there. Just once it's really smooth. Let's see. I think that'll do it. That's not too bad. Cheeks are right there. Let's just kind of draw that out so I have a good idea of where 
I want everything to be. Hmm. Let's get some fat cheeks on there. I think he's cute with his really fat cheeks. There you go. That's kind of a cute face, right? You don't want to flatten out the back of your head. Little guy. Okay. Let's see. Oh, I'll make sure I stay in the frame. Sorry, everybody. Was I out of the frame? No, I think I was okay. All right. Cool. There's some fat cheeks. Kind of got that off center, didn't I? Okay. So, I guess the opening of the head will be right here. I'm going to probably, after I bake this, pull all of this tin foil back out so I can have a big hollow head. Oh, at the bottom of her head and her fat cheeks. Okay, let's see, we gotta have her eyes. Gotta do some eyeballs. Oh, this one cheek is fatter than this cheek. Good. Okay, I think that will do it. Okay, do some eyeballs. I'm actually going to do these separately, so I'm going to just kind of get a good feel for like how big they're going to need to be. And I'll bake them. Right size, right? Okay, okay, cool. I like it. I like it. It's cute. I'm gonna keep those and bake them and paint them. And after I bake them and paint them, I will be back to work some more on my Cthulhu. Bubble, bubble, bubble. So I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Hello, I'm back with some eyeballs. Let us continue our baby Cthulhu bobblehead. I did spend a little bit of time smoothing him out, so he's a little smoother than he was in the last video. Uh, but we still have a lot of work to do. So I'm going to, I think, add his eyeballs so I can have a good idea exactly what I want him to look like. I think what we need to do is build up his big head a little bit. Because part of what makes it look cute and childlike is the big cheeks, the big eyes, and the big forehead. So I definitely want to add those.
I wasn't really liking his body, so I did end up adjusting it a little bit. I made it less circular. It's got a little bit of a belly here. And we've got his shoulders. Still got his legs. Hi everyone, my phone got a little hot so it stopped recording for a little bit, but all you missed out on was I added him a little bit of wings, I uh, added a little more of a slope so it wouldn't fall over when I put the head on there, and then I've I've added just a little bit of sea, uh, sea life, so um, some coral and seaweed, it's probably, I know those are um, ocean things. I actually don't think they're called coral, but I don't know what they're called. I'm not that well versed in my sea creature, sea life, sea plant life. Although I guess some of the, the thing, some of the things in the ocean that look like plants are not, they're actually animals, so maybe it's an animal life. <laughs> um, anyway, I added that. Um, a little little sea bouquet right here. Um, I'll probably add a little starfish over there. But my vision for this didn't have too many details, so I'll probably keep this to a minimum. Ha! Ah, stars are hard. See the top. Hello, kiddos! I'm back. I uh, spent some time smoothing it out, out a little bit. Um, I used some turpentine and then after that I baked it and then I sanded it. Um, it is a little bit pink just because I think there was a tiny bit of red left on that the brush I used to, to brush the turpentine on. Um, so this is what we have so far. We've got our little... Cthulhu bobblehead. Um, possibly if I were to do this again, I might make his body smaller to go with more of a baby look. Um, but I'm not sure how well that would hold up the head. So this, yeah. So this is what we have. Um, I will be paint. oh, yeah. His, there's tape over his eyes right now. Because I'm going to primer him and then paint him. Um, but since this took quite a while to finish the sculpture, um, I will, 
um, probably make a new video of that. So thank you everyone for watching. Thanks for watching. And remember, it doesn't matter if you're 10, 50, or 100. You're all kiddos to a dragon.